Today in the European Parliament, I was pleased to back a series of votes for a complete ban on electric pulse fishing. This is an industrial fishing technique that sends a current through the sea and so allows large-scale trawling of high-value bottom-feeding fish that are dislodged by the current. But it's also damaging to other marine life, including young fish, and that prevents stocks from replenishing themselves. And it's also damaging to the livelihoods of small-scale traditional coastal fishing communities. Up till now, this practice had been restricted to relatively small experiments, but the European Commission, for reasons I don't understand, had proposed pulse fishing be approved for widespread use. The campaign against this proposition involved conservation groups, organisations representing anglers and fishers organisations, including those in North Kent at Queenborough, Whitstable and Thanet. I'm very pleased to say that for the first time Parliament voted for a complete ban on pulse fishing. Many other countries have already done so, including China. The next step is negotiations between the Parliament, the Council, that's the Member States, and the European Commission. This might not result in a complete ban immediately, but the direction of travel is now very clear. There is now no chance of pulse fishing being approved on a wide basis or being extended beyond the current experiment. Hopefully, it will be banned soon, but I've no doubt that its days in European waters are numbered.